he stays in trouble. Albuquerque police are getting fed up arresting Christopher Hay over and over again. Today, a prosecutor tried to get the convicted felon locked up with no bond. But as News 13's Aaron Drawhorn reports, this defendant has a way of walking out of jail every time. Christopher Hay has his courtroom etiquette in check today. All right. The 31 year old will pay attention and be polite. First, the prosecution's position. The defendant is a dangerous individual who continues to harm this community and will continue to harm this community if he is released. Hay has quite the record. 10 felony arrests in one year is significant. From drugs to stealing cars to break-ins, he's the same intruder who ended up in a little girl's bed this time last year. Less than two weeks ago, Hay broke into this business on San Mateo, holding police and SWAT at bay for hours. Identified himself as law enforcement, and all he heard was a male subject's voice say, uh, you better get out of here before you get blasted. The fear, his rhetoric could turn into real violence. There was no knife found on Mr. Hayes. Arrest after arrest, the defense tore into claims by the DA's office. The state could not find the alleged victim. Even blaming news coverage of his rap sheet for the prosecution's push. I think that's why this case is actually proceeding on a detention hearing. Quite disingenuous, uh, borderline offensive. Judge Stan Whitaker's concern. None of them have been indicted. Not one. No judge. With the cases going nowhere, he gives Hay a break. I stay in contact with my grandma. She lives in Rio Rancho. A suitable place to live, GPS monitoring, no drugs, and a curfew is imposed. You understand that? Yes, sir. If that's the case, then one fool I am uh, to let you out of conditions. Hay is long past the fool me once, shame on me stage. Fool everyone an 11th time. It may be shame on the system. Aaron Drawhorn, KRQE, News 13. Pre-trial services will sign off if they feel Hay is a good candidate for his release. If not, he posts 1500 cash and he gets out of jail. Prosecutors are planning to take some of his cases to the grand jury next month.